Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Barrett, the Interdisciplinary Social Sciences Librarian at the University of Rochester. Today I'm going to show you how to access ebooks, um, whether they are from the course reserves or if you're just searching for the title. And I'll also show you the easiest way to actually work with them. So I'm going to start with trying to find these books by going through reserves first. I'm going to start at the library website, library.rochester.edu, and go to services. And under Featured Services, I can find course reserves for students. I'm going to use the catalog to search for the course reserves. And from this screen, there are actually multiple ways to search for your course reserves. What I usually do is search for them by instructor name. In this case, I'm going to search for Nancy Chen's Public Health 101 class, Introduction to Public Health. And I'm just going to enter her last name. So as you can see, I've gotten multiple results, anything that has the letters C-H-I-N together. And the course I want to select is the last one here. So I can either click on the title or on ebook um, full text online. It doesn't matter which one you choose, usually. If you are off campus, you'll need to authenticate. So you'll need to enter in your net ID and password. And from this screen, we can see that the vendor for this specific ebook is ProQuest or eBook Central. Any books that are provided through this vendor are going to look the same. So let's just kind of take a look at what we can see right here. We can see the availability. So our institution has three copies of this book. What that means is that if people are trying to access this ebook at the same time, only three people will be able to use that. We want to make sure that everyone can access this ebook when they need to. So what I'm going to ask you all to do is rather than read online or download books, to just download the PDF chapters that you need. For this book, you can see that you can download up to 459 pages at one time. The way this works is that every 24 hours, you can download 459 pages. If you ever need to download more than that, there is a way around this limit. All you need to do is open the open your browser in incognito mode, and then you can download as many chapters as many times as you need to. So say I want to download um, some sections of the book. Rather than click here, I'm just going to take a look and see what my options are. So say I just want to download maybe the first three chapters. I'm going to go to download PDF, then click download. And here's a file that's automatically opened up. Now, if I scroll back up, you can see that the amount of pages that I can now download has decreased a little bit. So that'll happen every time that you try to download pages. Rather than going through reserves, I'm going to show you how to access a book by searching for the title. So I'm going to start at the main library webpage, library.rochester.edu, and I'm just going to enter the title into the main search box. So I'm searching for this book, Body and Soul, The Black Panther Party and the Fight Against Medical Discrimination. So I can see here that we actually have the ebook as well as a physical book that's available. I'm going to go ahead and click on the full text online because I want to access the ebook. And from this screen, I can see the availability says that we actually have unlimited access to this book. And I can see that I can get access to up to 124 pages to download within a 24 hour period. So in this case, it wouldn't be an issue if you chose to read the book online, to download the entire book, or download PDF chapters. Something to be aware of is if you download the book, you can only check it out for one, up to one day at a time. So once again, it's um, probably a little bit more trouble than it's worth to download the book. Next, I'm going to show you a book that is through a different vendor. So this book, American Opinion on Trade, Preferences Without Politics, is available through EBSCOhost eBook Collection. 
So you can see immediately that this looks a little bit different than the other ebooks we were looking at. So I can see here that I can print email or save up to 100 pages. And we only have one copy available at a time. So with this book in particular, it's going to be really important to only download the chapters that you need, rather than trying to read the book online or downloading the entire book. Once I click on the chapter that I want, I can see that the book will open up and I have access to easily download specific chapters from this screen. So I hope this quick tutorial has been helpful for you. If you have any questions about how to access ebooks, you can always reach out to, to me or your specific subject librarian.